Hello guys and welcome to something new. I'm playing Whispering Willows. It didn't say it was a horror game, but staring at it right now it seems very creepy to me. So I wonder and I hope that it's not going to be. I'm going to play it through in English, but just starting here to show you that it is in a lot of different languages, weirdly enough. Uh, and brightness. Adjust the slider until... Yeah, this, this is why... This is why I hate it, because this is normally a horror game type thing. Barely visible. I'll do it that one. She, she's still visible, but she's barely visible. Stop. Let's do it. Whispering Willows, here we come. Wartham Warrior. Well, this is in chapters, so I'm going to be filming them in chapters, it seems like. Okay, space to pick up the amulet. Oh, I can see again now. E to open inventory. My family heirloom, it's been passed down countless generations. Oh, I'm crawling. New diary entry added. Press escape to read. What is this place? I'm so lost and mum doesn't know where I am. I'm supposed to be looking for dad. I have to find a way out of here and keep looking for him. I know that if I can just get out of here I'll find some sign of my dad. I won't give up. Okay. It's gonna be dark in there. Wow. Oh, here we go. Human bones. You can interact with human bones, but why? Girl, hear me. Girl, your power calls to me. Helena, the amulet around your neck was crafted by the first high shaman of the Kawatiko tribe, my grandfather. It glows in the presence of spirits and boosts your shamanic powers. Let it be your guide. What the hell? Whoa. The spirit and body may drift from one another, but may be joined as one in the end. A fragment life cannot be lived. I lost my body and look at me now, but perhaps you can help me find it. I shall reside I shall reside within your amulet and teach you to find teach you to fend off the darkness. Whoa. There is a crack above that door. Use it to get to another room. Ooh, this is cool. Glowing objects can be possessed. Move closer and possess the switch lever. Good work, Elena. Now rejoin your body and spirit. New diary entry. I can hardly believe it. I just met a ghost. His name is Flying Hawk, and he's one of my ancestors. He told me my amulet has power, and he taught me how to use it. Now I can take control of my spirit. This is just what I need to help find Dad. I was feeling pretty worried for a little while, 
but I don't think anything can stop me now. Okay, so I walked through there. There's more stuff along here. Great. Not curious enough to look inside. Oh, no, no, it's been added. Flying hawk. I saw through the skies as I sat atop a great eagle bald head. I was carried further up beyond the clouds until I sat with the stars. I watched as the gods moulded the world and used their own bodies for the clay. They tore out their hearts for the earth's core and their blood is the water we drink. We walk about their dirt, flesh and rock and bones. <laughs> Sorry, I read that a little bit weirdly. We walk about the dirt flesh and rock bones. Then all that was left were the hands they used to shape the world. Their fingers became the trees that covered our land. It is to them what we owe everything, and we must honour our eternal bond and live in harmony with the great spirit. The spirit realm calls me more often than it did before, as a high shaman of the Karan Kwan Taco Kwan Taco of the Kwan Taco I must heed its call and relate to my people the great spirit has shown me Okay It's locked. There's a crescent moon shape on the door. So I can't get through crescent moon shaped. Good to know. Let's go down. Go into the darkness. Go be creepified. <laughs> No, this isn't really a horror game. It's about something quite dark, but it isn't a horror. Oh, it's ladders there. Which I have to go down. I wonder what's in all these crates. Well, how would you open one then? Oh, new note. Worth and Willows. My deserted Marthia has fallen dreadfully ill. She contacted a case of dysteria. The psychiatrist. The, the physician we brought with us believes she will live, but I am in a constant state of worry. I care f for her day and night. Surely she cannot care for herself. It pains me to see that she. she it pains me to see the beautiful land we passed through. I believe as though the sight would do her well, but the physician has warned that she must not move, nor be moved by any, unless her fragile state could go into dysteria. I pray to God that he will save her. I can, I can do naught but wait and pray. Okay. We're obviously getting back history and memories here. What is this? Oh. Wortham made this door without a keyhole to restrict access to all but himself. Nobody knows what's in there, though I've heard rumours. It's a spirit. Creepy, but a spirit. open now. It's 
exactly what I said before. Hmm, no key hole. I wonder how it opens. Not that way. I take it. I just closed myself in here. The coffin looks like it was made in a rust. I'm gonna go up and see what's up. I am a ghost and it's kind of cool but weird at the same time. to my body. I kind of need to open this door for her. <laughs> my body's so lonely. I oh, wonder if it's safe to let your spirit run around. Not sure it is to be honest but I'm gonna go with it and see. These are all the crates. I'm gonna go this way. through there yet. The great, eagle the great eagle returned and took me upon its bare crown again. He flew into the air and rested on the clouds. I could see beyond the horizon and what I saw choked my breath from my lungs as my heart was wrenched from my chest. The earth turned itself in turned in on itself and so did my skin. The world was in a certain upheaval. Pale figures marched across the land and brought with them blankets of death that covered my people as they slept. I saw plums of dust darken the sky. No plants grew. The giant black rivers cut across the land like infested veins. Monsters looking beasts of metal and industrial will filled our land and destroyed the bonds we have worked so hard to nourish. Nature. Wow. Yeah, they weren't happy with us. My grandpa had one of these. Rest in peace, Willow Estate, groundkeeper. Alright, there's a key here. Hmm, a storage key. Alright. I'm gonna go all the way along. I can't. Nope, I can't. Good to know. Hmm. I'm not here then, can I? What's up here? Oh, this is the way I came. This is the way I came down. So we go down. So 
Nah, I can just go from here. But yeah, I got into that room. Here. It's like confused. Really confused. Inventory was not that bad. Catacombs. Maybe it's something else I've got to do. I'll go through the dark, dark hallway and see if that's uh, anything. Goody swear. Because I can't go through there. These police systems look like they work something below me. Maybe the crypt door down. Maybe that crypt... Maybe that what? Space to enter the opening. Hmm. This is the new area. It's locked. The door is smelted with blood. It's not good. I don't like blood. Blood's creepy. Good. And a lot of people have died here. I'm gonna lock this with the storage key. Cage. There's a ghost thing inside it. The lever door opened the crypt door. Wortham hid the lever in here to keep his secret from escaping. Ah, that's what I thought. Day heralds the coming of a new dawn for me. The history book will sing my praises, and the world over shall know of my deeds. I set off to settle the savage west. With me, as always, with me as always is my trusty companion, Darby O'Halloyd. It was enormous relief to know he would accompany me. He's fair and always my most trusted friend, and I don't know what I'd do without him. Along with us are 24 men that she used to work on, work for my father, who are now under my employment. They will be cru crudal in the grunt work along the way. Crucial in the grunt work along the way. Also, with me is, of course, my beautiful bride, Marthia, who demanded she joined. joined me. Staying here in New England, however, is a young Marcus. He's already 16 years old, almost a man. He shall continue his education and apprenticeship under my own father. He would have no better a teacher. Surely the boy pleased with me to come along, but I told him he needed to do what was right for the family business that someone would need to look after it while I established myself in the West. He was a sharp lad and understood well the necessary of his sacrifice. I embraced him more tightly than ever I had dared to do, but he'd soon be a man. I knew he could take it. Okay. Learning more stories. So let's go find out what was in that crypt door. Up we go. Ooh. 
Yeah, the bag dropped. Okay. Right. This way. It is this way. Yeah. So I thought it's all at the end and then it's down again. It's a narrative puzzles type of game, but a walking one. It's really weird. Oh. Crescent moon on it. Ah, so that was what it was. Oh god. What's happening? <laughs> the growing darkness has plagued this place since my death. It festers beneath the surface like an infested roll. In exchange for my teachings, you must turn again. You must turn against me, Elena. I need you to find my body, and you're the only one who can help. Oh my God. That was scary. Like, really scary. Alright, crescent moon. That's not the crescent moon door. It's locked. Okay. At this point, I'm going to stop. Um, I hope you're enjoying it so far. It's a really weird game. I will be back to play another episode in a few days and. She's cool, or poor girl, and I hope you enjoy everything else I upload in the meantime. <laughs> I will see you in whatever I decide to film next. Bye guys!